assuming I'm assuming the staff is ready to go. I call to order the Ramsey County Regional Rail Authority. Roll call, please. Thank you. Um, Carter. Here. Bradham. Here. Maris Castillo. Here. McDonough. Here. McGuire. Here. Reinhardt. Here. And Ortega. Hi. Roll. Uh, item number one, uh, agenda. I move for approval of the agenda. Move approval. Moved. Second. There be no discussion, roll call. <coughs> Reinhardt. Aye. Carter. Aye. Bradham. Aye. Maris Castillo. Aye. McDonough. Aye. McGuire. Aye. And Ortega. Aye. I'll entertain a motion on the minutes of February 1st, 2022. So moved. Second. Hearing no discussion, roll call. Reinhardt. Aye. Carter. Aye. Bradham. Aye. Modest Castillo. Aye. McDonough. Aye. McGuire. Aye. And Ortega. Aye. Administrative items. Number three, agreement with two design group for advanced station area planning services for the Metro Purple Line Bus Rapid Transit Project. Move, Move approval. approval. Second. Hearing no discussion, roll call. Reinhardt. Aye. Carter. Aye. Bradham. Aye. Maris Castillo. Aye. McDonough? Aye. McGuire? Aye. And Ortega? Aye. Item number four, revised financial commitment for Metro Gold Line Bus Rapid Transit Project. So moved. Second. Hearing no uh, discussion, roll call, please. Reinhardt? Aye. Carter? <laughs> Thank you. Um, Bradham? Aye. Modest Castillo? Aye. McDonough? Aye. McGuire? Aye. And Ortega? Aye. Any corridor updates? Mr. Chair? Yes, go ahead. I, I know that we are tight on time here, but I do need to, I feel like I need to give an update on the purple line. I did an interview yesterday um, for cable that talked about um, the discussions, uh, whether it's no rush line corridor, the city of White Bear Lake, to point out, and I'll just do it very simply, is that there are a lot of questions that are being asked about ridership and COVID and crime and all of these other things. These are important questions, and we are going to answer them. And we have, in many cases, we've already answered them. If somebody doesn't like the answer, that's uh, the data is the data. But I think that it's important to understand that the community involvement in this must and will continue. And finally, the rigorous uh, requirements of the FTA must be met in order for this to move forward. And that is heavily reliant on the ridership numbers. But I really believe, um, you know, as a White Bear Lake resident and as a uh, a, a proponent of the purple line for a long time is that this is in our best economic and environmental future. And I do not want to lose sight of the environmental aspects of the purple line and what it means to have, um, actually, when you look at the, the percentage of vehicle uh, trips on Highway 61, the Purple line will consist of 0.06% and it will take off a lot of cars. And, you know, the fact of the matter is you can't widen Highway 61 through there um, easily, that's for sure. But lots of amenities, a lot of questions being asked, and we are answering them to the FTA standards. Again, very rigorous. And um, I'm just looking forward to the discussion and so we can move forward. But that is happening right now. Thank you. Thank you, Victoria, for your good work on the Purple Line and for your advocacy. 
I think all of our lives are being questioned for a lot of reasons, especially during COVID. A lot of issues in crime mm -hmm. and so forth. But we're just going to have to keep, uh, as you sa stated, the data is the data. And we know what we have to do to be able to move people and to make it better for our environment. So thank you for your good work. We are now adjourned. Thank you very much. We'll take a five minute break uh, and start at 1035. Okay. So, That's a new link. And it, okay, we'll get off this one.